Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, was just at home on my setup at home, making some music and uh, decided to pause for the cause and show you this cool workaround that I do that replaces Rewire. Um, if you're like me, I used to always love Rewire between like Reason and another dog, but I believe Propellerhead or whoever makes Rewire the framework or protocol um, stop supporting it. So, um, if you don't have like a an actual Dante setup or an audio over IP setup, um, then this is could be hard to do or impossible to do. And actually, uh, I'll probably do another video showing you um, how to do that using Dante devices because at the studio that I work out of, um, we have a Dante setup and uh, we have multiple interfaces on the network and you can get real intricate with this. Um, so I'll probably do another video about that showing that. But for now, at home with a smaller desktop interface, I'll show you how to get it done. Um, so because I like Ableton as my main doll, everything it does, that's my workflow. But I like Logic's, you know, stock virtual sense. I like sculpting my sounds there. Um, I like using them at the same time. I don't wanna have to bounce the audio and then drag and drop it. I'd rather have them both run at the same time, especially if your computer can support um, having two DAWs run. So you will need an interface though that supports loopback. Um, and I'll show you how to get that done. So I'm recording this through OBS. So I do have some different IO stipulations that work for me, but this should be the same for you if you have a multiple input and output interface. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Focusrite Control because that's who makes my interface and that's the control software for it. Um, I'm on headphone number two. So I'm gonna send an actual mix to myself to monitor. Now I know by default, um, my Ableton goes outputs to one and two. Um, and you can actually see that over here as well on my screen versus master out one and two. I have a hard patch though, coming out of the rear of my interface, going into analog one and two of my interface for OBS. OBS only recognizes inputs one and two, so I'm doing the work around there. Because of that, I'm going to actually turn this fader down and also mute. Um, this is a double, double attack, but just really helps me with monitoring, not have any kind of feedback loops pop in my ears or whatever have you. So that's good. Now, on the flip side of that, um, I know that if I play something from Ableton, it should show me metering right here. To basically do that and show that, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop over. Um, I'll just go to any particular, I don't know, this, and bam. Plain audio, cool. Right, all right, perfect. So we can stop that. So now I know Ableton's playing, I can monitor it, we're good to go. The first thing I wanna do is jump back to Ableton. I wanna to go to the preferences menu. I wanna make sure a couple things. My DAW is showing that my interface is both input output, that's standard stuff. The sample rate, I wanna choose my sample rate here because I don't want to have any weird issues later. And this is like the master DAW almost, but there is no master slave relationship anymore. But for the sake of what I'm doing, it matters to have this one set first. And um, I'll explain a bit about that in a second. So I have this set here, we're good to go. Um, as far as output configuration and input configuration, I like to have my stereo outputs enabled and just mono out left and right for outs. That's just my preference. And then input though, this is big. 11 and 12 is where the, uh, the loopback uh, sits in the IO hierarchy. So I have that enabled as well, we need that, cool. So now I'm gonna jump over to Logic and I'm going to go into the Logic menu. I'm gonna go over to Preferences, go to Audio. The first thing I'm gonna do again, make sure my output and input device is my interface. Cool. I'm gonna go over to IO Assignments and this is important. For the output, this is the global output setting for just um, by default. You can see it defaults to one and two. I don't want that. I wanna to default to seven and eight because that's gonna be my last two sets of outputs. I like using my last two sets of outputs available just to make sure I'm not bumping into anything else or causing any, any weird um, audio issues. If I go to the very last one, I know that's where it sits, that's where it lives. Perfect. So now I can go ahead and X this out. And I'm gonna also jump over to Logic, go to File, Project Settings, and go to Audio. And this is important. I wanna make sure my sample rate matches my same sample rate as my um, Ableton session. Now this is important because we don't have any type of um, 
external digital devices clocked into the interface. So the interface is clocked to itself and it's set to basically um, be whatever sample rate the DAW says the session's at, right? So remember before I set my Ableton at 48K, I'm setting Logic at 48K as well. So now there's no DAW, there's no, no actual sample rate switching between the DAWs, right? So it's like, there should be no fights back and forth. The interface should remain at the same sample rate, which is huge to help the audio continue to pass, all right? Uh, perfect, so now we got that sorted out. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I have an actual audio track here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose for the audio in, external input, because technically it is, it was virtual. I'm gonna choose 11 and 12 for my uh, loop back. If I jump back over to my focus right control, I can confirm I have my DAW, loop, my, my actual loop back out, my loop back input, excuse me, set to DAW 7 and 8. Perfect. I can record enable this. Um, and then I'm gonna leave this off for a second just to make sure there's no weird feedbacks happening. Um, I'll jump over to Logic and I'll throw an instrument. Um, in this case right now, I have my machine studio on my desk, my machina studio on my desk. So I'm gonna jump to this real quick, add that. It should pop up, perfect. Um, I'm on the community one, so let's just see. Oh, Girls Make Beats kit. This is actually a cool kit if you haven't gotten it. Um, the Community 2021 kit. It has some really cool stuff in it. Um, I'll just demo this. Okay, perfect. So immediately when I click on it, I can see that I got some actual input um, coming in. I'm showing meters here. I'm showing meters here. I should go ahead and go to input monitor. And then if I jump back over to um, machine again and click on the next thing. Oh, I'm thinking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Um, and there you have it. Uh, my audio is routing between the DAWs. Now, just to make sure it's not a fluke, I'm gonna go ahead and record enabled um, the track. I'm gonna turn audio, uh, the actual monitor to auto, excuse me. Record a clip. And now if I go here, I click it again. press stop let's go ahead and shorten the clip clip is shortened and now I can turn this off and I can go ahead and play this and now I have it in my I have this in my workflow my session and I can keep going on like this keep moving on like this and adding things um, an audio format and then still doing things like warp um, and take grant to take advantage of all the cool audio effects and all the flexibility able to um, offers with um, audio so yeah man there you have it um, I'll do another video showing this um, and also too to add here if you notice I have stereo out set to all of these blank um, instrument tracks it's because now my global um, all my global channels will default to stereo out um, in this case I'll do one instrument at a time but in my next video, maybe I'll show you how to like, you can stack up a bunch of different instruments together and make a huge ensemble and have all these discreetly go to channels using Dante um, into your DAW at one time, which is like really cool for like composing bigger sounding um, uh, pieces and whatnot. But hopefully this is something that was uh, of use to you, added value to you. Um, if you'd like it, please definitely comment, uh, shoot me a thumbs up, do what you gotta do, subscribe to, show love. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. Stay focused, stay positive, and peace.